Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's your pal and possum here. We are back in Mendistry doing another schematics video. Uh, this one is a little bit special, though, because it's a viewer request edition. Uh, let's start off with Logan's request. He asked, can I make a, a schematic that will have a mega or quad automatically pick up and drop off units? And, uh, yeah, I can do that. I did that. Let's look at, take a look at this one here. Here's the uh, quad and a whole bunch of pulsars over here. So uh, the scenario is as follows. Uh, basically, the, uh, the quad's going to be looking for any pulsars that are low health. And if he finds them, he's just going to drag them back here to this healing station. And they'll get healed up and walk back to the front line. That is essentially all that's happening. I'll show you guys the uh, logic here really quick. What's, oh, yeah, I have a message box still attached. Don't look at that. It doesn't matter. Here's a quick look at the logic. I'm not going to go over go over it, but if for some reason you want to copy it, you know, step for step, there you go. And I'll also have the uh, schematic up on uh, Workshop, and I'll also post it in the Discord so you guys can get it from there as well. All right. That out the way. Let's see it in action. I'm going to go ahead and switch teams here, so I'm now the red team. Oh, 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 God. The Nova's just shooting at me. All right, let me get over here. Let me go invisible. Let me go invincible real quick so the Nova's don't kill me. There we go. All right, let's shoot at some, uh, let's shoot at some, uh, pulsars here. Oh, yeah, the, uh, Nova's are going to heal the pulsars faster than I'm going to kill them. All right, sorry about that. The, uh, Nova's were actually healing them faster than I could damage them, which is kind of sad, but it is how it is when you're using the default ship. So I'm going to shoot this guy until it takes a significant amount of damage. Should be enough. There we go. He was damaged enough. Now the, the quad has picked them up and he's going to run them on over this way. Let me go into sharded mode so I can see his health when he drops. And uh, he's going to drop them over here. He's going to get healed up and now he's going to be released. And then once things are released, he'll uh, go back and do the default behavior. Let me get a couple. I'm going to start damaging a few of them. So we can see that, you know, it, it can damage, you know, it can handle doing this multiple times. It's not like a single time thing. You know, as many units as are as it needs to heal, or as many times as he'll bring it back, is essentially what it comes down to. Alright, and basically, I have it set for a 75% threshold. It really doesn't matter. Do, do I have any of these damaged enough? Oh my god, I don't even do enough damage. Alright, hold on. I wish I could see their health uh, while I'm not doing this actively. Oh my god, they're like recharging each other's shields so fast that I do like no damage. Is that enough to have actually done damage to this guy? Holy cow. All right. It, I, I have to, like, shoot nonstop to actually get through all those shields. It's kind of ridiculous. Anyways, you can see the uh, quad is running around, picking guys up, healing them off, and, you know, dropping them at the healing station, going back, picking up more damaged people, and, you know, rinse and repeat. So we have that figured out. Uh, I'll have the schematic for this. You guys want to, you know, look at it yourself. This in itself may not be overly if, uh, effective as a unit. You mean as a schematic you want to use for yourself just as is. But if you want to learn how to do this kind of stuff, how you'd go about telling units to pick up and drop off, how to find units to pick up and all this other kind of stuff, it's uh, it's, it's pretty handy. Even if you just change some of the uh, bind units around, you could get something useful out of it. Next schematic is a request from Akari Nurarian, I think it said. Hopefully I got the name correct there. He wanted to see how to do a mono feeding system. Uh, basically, that basically have monos mine what they need and then feed a factory with it. So I'm going to set up a really simple system here. This is something you guys actually might be able to get something, some use out of it. We call this the mono factory feeder. I'm just going to throw it down right here. There we go. And we have all sorts of monos we can use with this. But first, we have to flag the monos that we're going to need. So let's go ahead and get our unit flagger down, which is something I've also uh, improved. The new and improved unit flagger here. So let's go ahead and change this a little bit. I want to I want to flag up to, let's say, we're going to set the flag ID to 3. Because that's what I have the other one set at. And uh, we'll, grab, we'll grab 9 drones, because we're feeling feisty. And uh, that should be it all right there. So let's go on here. We're going to... We have zero units flagged right now. We have nine now. As you saw, that number counts up, actually, as, as we go. And you can see right off the bat, they're already going. They're filling this up. Yeah, they're getting sand from the uh, unit feeder here, so I'm cheating a little bit there. But they're going up here. They're grabbing the uh, lead. They're coming down here, feeding it into here. And then uh, going up and getting more as they need it. And just going back and forth right off the bat. And uh, basically, let me turn off that source here. That's not what I needed. Basically, you have to have the items that you want to feed uh, 
highlighted here. You have to have them be referenced by the uh, microprocessor. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to see, you know, what kind of factories they are, what they need, that kind of stuff. So you just throw that a microprocessor with this schematic right next to factories and highlight them all. And it'll take care of it for you. It's really just as simple as that. I'll give you guys a look at the uh, logic real quick. But just like the other ones, I'll have this, uh, you know, schematic up on the workshop and also have it in the Discord. Uh, so you can get it that way. We'll... Uh, I'll scroll through it so you can take a look if that's what you're interested in. I'm not going to go over it step by step because that's a lot of stuff there. But uh, if you're looking to learn how to do this stuff or you just want a, you know, ready to use solution, there it is. And here's the other update with the uh, unit flagger deflagger I did. You can see it has nine units flagged right now. I'm going to uncheck it and it counts down as it deflags them so you know that they're deflagged. And you flag them up again. Okay, it's counting up. Let's deflag them. Counting down, once it runs out, this is how you know you can reflag again without any issues. It actually counts down how many units are left with that flag and it lets you know when it's finally done deflagging it. Uh, so that's the update with the uh, unit flagger deflagger schematic. Let's uh, move on to the next one. All right, the next build is an update. Uh, we see Onyx Finger pointed out that our, uh, let's see, Nova Commander, what's the name of this one here? Demo, yeah, that's the right one. Our Nova Commando, uh, Commander Demo from uh, the other episode, uh, wasn't behaving quite as he thought it should behave. Basically, the uh, the pulsars were were uh, you know were dropping down as soon as something was found in the area, instead of only dropping down when they were in attack range. He thought this 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 was a flaw, and we should fix it. And uh, and we have fixed it. And I'll show you guys here real, real quick. I'll turn to the uh, an enemy team here, and I'll go ahead and uh, put myself in invincible for now. So let's see what happens when they find me. See, they're floating still. Oh, they found me. They're still floating. Oh, we're out of range. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll not move out of range. There we go. There they go. They found me. It took a little while. We have to upgrade the processor, probably, because I still have them on a micro right now. But they eventually got there and said, oh, okay, we got, we got near the bad guy. Let's go down to the guy and attack. And I'm out of range now, so they're floating again. All right, let's do it again. I'll show you guys again. They're floating, get in range. Microprocessor is slow, that's why they're still in the air. But now they're down here, they un unfloat. What's it called? Uh, I think it's called boost, actually. Sorry, I keep saying floating, it's just called boost in the scripting. So if you guys wanna have a look at that, I'll give you a look real quick. It's uh, nothing too fancy over here. Here is the, uh, here is the uh, script that controls the Nova quote-unquote leader. I'll go through that really quick. This is not the one that was upgraded, so it shouldn't really be anything different. And I'll have these schematics, same as all the other ones, on the workshop and uh, in the Discord if you guys want to, you know, have it for yourself. In my channel Discord, not the uh, not the official Ministry one. Sorry about that. Uh, anyway, here's the uh, upgraded script here. This is the one that was actually changed, so it'll boost and not boost depending on how far away it's fr from its target. And uh, there we go. So that's it for this week. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the show. And uh, if you guys have any suggestions or requests for things you'd like to see done or comments, say, hey, why doesn't it do this? Maybe it should do this. Let me know. Maybe we'll do a custom schematic for you next episode. Or if you just have an idea for something, you know, awesome, cool, why doesn't this, why doesn't anyone have a tutorial on this? Why doesn't anyone making X, Y, and Z? Maybe I'll do it. Let me know. Anyway, guys, this is what I do. If you're into this kind of stuff, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click that bell icon so you know when I put in new content. Smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.